Microwave popcorn is the subject of today's food for thought. My name is Jody Bunting. This is a daily live health tip to help you become healthy. So, first of all, we must start off by saying, obviously, the best sort of uh, popcorn is homemade with real uh, corn kernels. So if you have got, for instance, a popcorn maker or you know how to make it in your pan or a microwave, then definitely do that. However, if you want the lazy version, which are these boxed popcorns, uh, I've got lots of different varieties today and we're going to talk about which is the best uh, and why you might go for a more expensive brand than a cheaper brand. So first of all, this is something called proper popcorn. Uh, there's also a brand called Metcalfs as well and they're very similar, very similar calorie wise. Uh, and the biggest different ingredient is that these have no palm oil in uh, and the cheaper brands have palm oil in. So if ethically you're trying to stay away from palm oil, uh, but also palm oil is not such a healthy fat as well. So we'll talk about that in the ingredients in a moment. Just the calorie comparison between these two different popcorns. Per 100 gram, uh, the proper popcorn is 418 calories. And per 100 gram in the cheaper, this one is from uh, Lidl, per 100 gram here, we are 483. So there is a difference. It's not a massive difference, but like 20% uh, calorie wise, you can change just by having proper popcorn. Now, the other thing they do, which you have to take your hat off, uh, the reason the portion size, so that's per 100 mil, the reason the portion size is so much less in proper pap popcorn is because Morrison's own brand and all those other sorts of popcorns are all 100 grams per bag and this one also has three 100 gram bags in. All the proper popcorn is three times 70 grams and that's also included you know those big bags that you can buy that are pre-popped uh, that's also the same so the proper ones are 70 grams where the own brand ones are 100 grams so this is why initially it looks like a massive calorie difference it's actually because <laughs> these bags are smaller um, so this is why um, you should look for the proper popcorn because as I said calorie wise if you are on a budget by the way obviously you'd be better to go for the own brand ones and try and just have half the bag but I know that's almost impossible. Um, these were on offer by the way this was only a pound I think I got it from Sainsbury's uh, so three uh, bags in here for a pound is uh, real steel. Um, so the ingredients in this is whole grain corn, 83%. Sh let's do a comparison. So this one is corn, it's only 75%. So you can see there's a big difference in the actual ingredients. Uh, this one has got uh, shear oil and rapeseed oil, where this one has got palm fat. I look, everyone avoids palm oil, so they just call it palm fat instead of palm oil. They think they're trying to, uh, they're basically tricking us. Uh, then the next one in here is salt uh, and extracts of rosemary. Oh, does that sound nice? Salt and rosemary in the proper popcorn. Uh, and in the uh, cheaper one, it's got... Uh, uh, fatty acids um, and of course salt as well so there's some other added ingredients there which is not so healthy so again there's so many reasons to choose this one but as I said budget wise now a lot of people will be saying out there I just don't like salted popcorn that's okay don't worry there is a uh, sugar version sweet version uh, the calorie wise is not massive as well which is the good news so this is 84 calories per serving this is 93 calories per serving so there's not a massive difference in here 
uh, ingredients wise uh, there is real sugar in here uh, and natural flavorings as well also extracts of rosemary who would have thought a bit of rosemary in popcorn would be delicious um, but as always with these products vegan uh, gluten-free natural seasonings and free from palm oil uh, a lot of uh, especially the flavored popcorns as well they can have uh, artificial flavorings in as well uh, which is those caramel ones and all those amazing ones that i'm sure we all love uh, but yes yeah, so that is popcorn guys as i said my biggest recommendation is the proper popcorn with salted if you really don't like salted uh, then go for the proper sweet one so what is your favorite popcorn guys what do you like to take to the movies what do you like to netflix and chill what are your uh, sweet treats what are your salty treats uh, and as i said just overall popcorn is good because it is actually a popped piece of corn if you think about crisps about sweets about chocolate it's highly processed where at least this is more of a natural ingredient so that is my top tip if you're watching any movies this weekend uh, then definitely pop your corn and enjoy the experience um yes Tina, they do do a lot of supermarkets now. I've actually stopped selling, like Aldi, they've stopped selling completely salted popcorn. They just don't do it because they do sweet and salty. Uh, so that's the other way to uh, get some balance in your life is have a little bit of both. And that way you're having the salt uh, without not having too much sugar as well. Right. Thank you for joining me, guys. I'll be back tomorrow live from pool. Bye.